So I've taken off the cowling just so I can see what I'm doing to start with. Just four screws for that. And then I'm going to get the four straps in place. And then I'll get them at the right lengths and then I'll uh, trim them off so that they're nice and neat and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. I'm fitting uh, uh, fittings for the Krieger US 30 that we've got to go on the back so I'm putting the fitments on for it to go to. Well I've already done mine because I've been using the US 10 for quite some time so mine are already in place. They were really fiddly. I didn't take the back cowl off, which made it even harder. But it's difficult to see on my bike, but I'll show you on Farmer Chris's bike. So there's only one place for the front one to go, because that's the only gap in the weld between the subframe top. And what is that underneath? Is that just supporting the... Yeah, so it's just the shape of the, the frame coming down here so you can get accessories attached to the back and it just extends down below which means you've only got a tiny space there to fit that one and then there's a bit more space at the back it's difficult to see here but this is what stands in the way of the back one so you, again you've only got a, sh a short piece of bar for it to come through So what have you done here, Farmer Chris? Okay, put the loops in. They've gone around the back frame. So that I've now got these for attaching the bag to. There's four of those yeah. to each side. And I've tidied stuff away. So seat on. Okay, so we've got, got these attachments for the seat loops. That's going to go on like so. And then we're going to put these like so. Obviously the bag will be full up with stuff, but the logic is that will come around here. There. This one will come right here. There. Attached. Then we would look at cinching them down. Same will be for this side. Making sure that you've got enough room for you. That's right. And of course, with it, you need to have stuff in your bags to bulk it out, um, and that would hold it on. That's holding it with it sideways on. You can turn the bags around and do that as well if you wish. And I've managed to put the uh, the tank bag on. So the only fiddly bit was where to root it in front of the headstock so it's in through the frame so it's got those really long arms to the front which helps to pad out the um, the webbing strap which is obviously down here um, and that loops around to the other side quite nicely and this helps this helps to provide some padding so it's nice and firm And obviously it goes under the seat. It's just connected to the existing seat hanger down there. And we'll see how that performs with a drone in it.
Good morning Sticky Beakers. The sole purpose of today's ride is to scrub these tyres in a little bit. Now we're in the hills as always and just taking it steady right at the start because while the middle lot of the tyre is probably scrubbed enough now and certainly the tyres are warm the edges of the tyre are only really just now getting their first feel of the road so extremely cautious to start off with mindful still of the fact there are always dangers on the road never mind about just having not scrubbed the tires in so caution for this ride and this ride hopefully will be enough to generate enough heat in these tires and to scrub them enough so that in the in future rides we don't have to think about what the tires are doing apart from of course remembering that the tires are probably called on first use as always uh, it's a bitterly cold day today and it was I think around about 15 degrees when we left the shed and the temperature has gone down in the meantime so I'm ready for a nice hot coffee I think or I might even stretch to a hot chocolate today how about that We've already passed one standing camera with an unmarked uh, police check behind it. So uh, nothing would surprise me today. They tend to put them in places like that, although not usually with trailers on the back. But that's a popular place for police because this road is well used by motorcyclists for testing their motorcycles anyway here's some music
for rides along and I yawn and I yawn and my chin must have hit the button hour off <laughs> Croissant, croissant, it's not gluten free though. The brownie's gluten free. <laughs> Where are we today, Farmer Chris? So here we are at the Rise Bakery in Nairn. Um, uh, we thought we'd have a little ride out um, because we were starving and we needed something to cheer us up and fill us out. And this is what we've got. What have you got? I don't know. <laughs> now it's the bean, it's the bean bowl, uh, healthy option as you can see, with bacon and avocado, um, and some sourdough. Made this fabulous excuse to get out on the bikes with the new tyres on, um, and uh, try and get them scrubbed in a little bit, because uh, we're going to be away shortly on a trip, so it'll be nice to have a tyre sorted for that. But they, pretty sure-footed, I must be honest, very good. I've got the foragers feast. Thank you. Thank you. That was a really nice brunch at the Artisan Bakery in Nairn. And now we need to scrub a bit more of the the, uh, the newness off these Pirellis. I have to say they feel very connected to the ground. They didn't seem to take any time at all to warm up. And now for some twisties.
if you've enjoyed this ride please give us a big thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one love you long time thanks for watching